Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and I'm here in Caden Live, and I want to take a look at doing a voiceover or a dub for my existing video. So I can do that directly in Caden Live, and I just want to show you how to do that real quick. So you can see I have actually an extra track over here under my video. So my video and audio is grouped together like this, and then I have a, a blank track. If you didn't have a blank track, so let me just delete this. I'm going to right click and then delete that track and say, okay. If you didn't already have a blank track here at the bottom, um, or you know, you could use this top one too, but you can come here, you can right click on an existing track and say insert track, and then we'll just say, okay, and it inserts this track below here. So with this track highlighted, I can come over here to my audio, um, uh, let's see what this is, audio mixer. And when my audio mixer is highlighted, if I tap on my microphone, okay. So it doesn't look like it's actually pulling in the sound from here. So let me just come here and press this microphone uh, icon at the top here that says record audio. And you can see now that I, when I talk into it, it picks up the sound here. And so you can see that this A2 corresponds to this A2 over here. So it's the audio two. And then there's, there's two video tracks and then there's two audio tracks. So this is the audio track that we're on right now. And basically if I wanted to dub over this, I could just come over here and I could hit this little red record button on my track. And then that would start a brief countdown. Then it will, it will run and it will record my audio. So let's just give that a shot real quick and press this. It says three, two, one. And now it's starting to play the video. So I can see up here in the upper right display that the video is going. And as I'm talking down here in my track, the actual audio wavelengths are displaying over here on the left hand side. So I'm just going to hit the space bar to stop this real quick. And it says it's paused. Um, I could continue it actually. So right now it's not recording, but if I hit space again, it's going to continue and it's going to continue recording my audio there. So that's great. Um, I can come here and I can just click this button here to stop the recording. I stopped it. Okay. So now we have that recording there. That's great. Um, now you might have some weirdness if you came over here and, um, you know, it's still recording this. So obviously, um, if I press the, the, the play button again, sorry, the space bar, it starts recording again because this is still primed to record and maybe you want this to stop recording in general. So I'll, I'll come over here, I will click the stop button, I'll stop again, but now we've captured again. If I want to turn off this capture entirely, I come over here to my audio mixer and I would press the um, microphone icon that says record audio again and I would turn that off. Now, if I come and I press play, it just plays the actual screen. Um, if I come back here, Hopefully you can hear the audio that the video is going and as I'm talking, so that was what I was just dubbing. And then if I wanted to get rid of the initial audio here, um, I could come up to my original track and I could right click on it and I could ungroup these tracks. So ungroup clips, you could also do control shift G. I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to grab just the audio portion and I could press the delete button to delete just the audio. And now we just have our original video and our new audio here. Um, there's a couple other things that you might want to do with your audio. So one thing you might notice here is that um, this audio is only coming out of one ear of the headphone. So this is being recorded in mono. So um, let me see. I think you can actually change how this looks. Okay. So separate channels. Okay. So you see, I separated this into right and left channels. Um, and if I looked at the initial, here, let me control Z. So if I bring back my initial clip I deleted, you can see that there's, there's two channels here. And in the new one, there's only one channel being recorded. So we can fix that um, by adding an effect. So I'm going to have this, um, this newly recorded audio selected. And then if I come up to my effects panel here, I'm going to click on effects and then I'm going to go to channels. So you might think it's under audio, but it's actually under channels. And then you want to click on the stereo to mono. If I click that, um, I double click it. It, it adds this over here. Um, and we have stereo to mono here. And so now, and let me get rid of this one more time. If I come and I play this, it, even though this is just a mono track, it should actually um, be coming out of the left and the right headphones. So let me throw my headphones on real quick so I can hear this. Play that the video is going, and as I'm talking down here in my track, the okay, so that's much better. Now that's that's working there. Um, it's coming out of both headphones for me. I can move this wherever I want. I could come up here, and I, I could even group these together if I wanted to to do that. So I hold down Shift to select both, and then I could group these if I wanted to do something like that. But you know, that's up to you. So now these these kind of move together. Okay, so that's just a quick way that you can come and you can dub over your existing videos and then um, change from a mono output to a stereo output. Hopefully that's helpful and uh, stay tuned to our channel for more quick tips on Caden Live and other, other free and open source software. All right, thanks.